You may have heard that a raw diet can help clean your pet's teeth, but how is this? One reason is that they aren't constantly consuming dry kibble or starchy wet foods, and another being that they're chewing real chunks of meat, assuming that they're not just eating grinds. But the biggest reason doesn't just apply to a raw diet, because this can be given to pets fed kibble, wet food, or a mainly cooked diet as well. And that is raw, uncooked bones. The chewing, crunching, and gnawing action against the meat, tendons, and bone is what helps scrape the plaque and tartar off the teeth like a toothbrush, and in turn helps prevent gingivitis. Even though some of these bones will have raw meat on them, they're perfectly safe to feed a pet on a commercial or cooked diet, as long as their system does well with the raw inclusion. So let's go over some raw bones that tend to be the most helpful with cleaning the teeth, as well as a tip at the end that enhances their cleaning effect even further. Number one, necks. Necks usually come from birds, like chicken, goose, duck, and turkey. These are great raw meaty bones for carnivores of all sizes because of the size range that the necks come in. From extra small chicken necks to extra large turkey necks, baby ferrets to adult mastiffs can benefit from this meaty bone. The neck bones are segmented and do a great job at scraping against the teeth as the animal bites down on or between the crevices of the bone segments. Number two, ribs. Ribs are also a great raw meaty bone for pets of all sizes because they come from many different prey animals. This can range from small rabbit ribs to bigger pork or lamb ribs. It's important to note that ribs should always be fed in a rack or a set of three to four ribs with the meat included, as feeding singular ribs can become a choking hazard. Ribs work great at scraping the back molars while the pet gnaws through the set of bones. Number three, heads. Heads will usually be from smaller prey animals like chicken, turkey, goose, duck, and rabbit. However, they still may be a bit too large for smaller pets like kittens and ferrets when fed whole. Of course, it can still be offered under supervision and can be something that they can work at. Heads are a great raw meaty bone to feed because they also include two secreting organs, brain and eyeballs. Beaks are also edible, so don't remove them. Heads are basically a big bony dome, so your pet really has to work their jaw and many of their teeth to chew through the skin, meat, and skull. This is a plus, as the more that they chew and figure out how to deconstruct it, the more mentally stimulating it is. Number four, trotters. Beef, lamb, and deer trotters are leg bones that are actually too dense for your pet to chew and consume, so this is one of two bones that I'm going to mention that are not actually consumable. Nonetheless, they're still a great recreational chew that your pet can gnaw on to clean their teeth. If you receive these from a hunter or a farmer, they may still have the meat, skin, and fur attached, which is a bonus. However, others that you may find at the store, butcher, or market will probably be almost bare, with a tiny bit of meat, fat, and connective tissue attached. This is what will encourage your pet to use all of their teeth to gnaw, pull, and tear it off the bone. Since these bones aren't meant to be chewed and swallowed, a pet of any size can enjoy these. However, be wary if you have a large breed dog, as they may be inclined to try and bite through them. Always monitor your pet when giving them raw bones. Number five, beef knuckle bones. This is the second bone that isn't actually consumable, but great for your pet's teeth. These bones are huge, so they will most likely take a while for your pet to go through as far as removing all of the meat and tissue off of. When I got one for Matsu, I would take it from the freezer, place it on a towel or outside, let him work at it for 30 minutes or so, then remove it and put it back in the freezer for next time. Of course, I always check to make sure it didn't go bad. When removing a recreational bone away from your dog, always lure them away from it with something of high value first. I usually crack an egg in a bowl and Matsu comes running for it, and while he's eating that, I remove the bone. This will eliminate any risk of resource guarding. Tip. To make the consumable raw meaty bones last longer and encourage your pet to chew more, feed them frozen. Because there's meat surrounding it, it will still be soft enough to not break any teeth during the chewing process, but will still make them have to chew more to break it apart. Again, always monitor your pet when they're eating or chewing raw bone. And if they're gulpers, it may be a good idea to hold the bone as they eat it. This way, they have no choice but to chew it. There are, of course, many other raw meaty bones that I didn't go over in this video that are great to feed and still beneficial. To learn more, watch this video.